Alright, so I have this wheel here and I'm going to talk about it at the end of the video. So please make sure you stay to the end of the video to know exactly what I'm talking about. This wheel is actually going to be for our next uh, upcoming series and episode. So stay tuned to the end of the video where I'll reveal exactly what this wheel stands for. My dad is a microwave chef. Good afternoon, good morning, wherever you are. My name is Yo Mess, the microwave chef. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today, I just thought of actually giving you an introductory information about what this YouTube channel stands for. So, in I think August or September this year, I was invited to two conferences, one by Princeton and one by AAU. These were virtual conferences. In all these two conferences, we're talking about the African youth, about empowerment. They were also talking about um, internet uh, access to the African youth and also value added uh, programs that will help the African youth. Um, after the conferences, this is my takeaway. And that's why I really started this um, YouTube channel. The African youth represent a great economic force um, in this world and to be able to realize these, uh, this power we actually have to come to a realization that we need training we need partnership and we also need self-improvement so after the conference I joined the Global Institute of Planning and Sustainable Development which actually does that it has a great footprint on the African continent it has uh, locations and offices in a lot of uh, countries on the African continent and also in the Caribbean. The Global Institute is actually headquarters in Chicago of the USA and is able to provide training and skills and partnership with the African youth to be able to come to this realization that we're talking about. So it is it is made up of intellectuals, academia, and also regular folks that have come together, business people, uh, professors, doctors, who have come together to give back to people on the African continent, spe especially the African youth. So that's why I joined the Global Institute, where in my capacity, I can also help by providing information on artificial intelligence, data science, and also later down in the series, we're going to be talking about development in terms of engineering and construction so that's the whole purpose of starting this YouTube channel where I can you know help bring some kind of value added skill to you or to your community or to your government in that regard so our next series I'm going to be um, talking about in our next series yes I'm going to be talking about um, engineering solutions and sustainability where I would random, randomly select an African country uh, but I guess maybe we can actually make it fun where I select three African countries or three locations where it's predominantly black people and what we'll do is we'll, um, find problems not problems but actually just provide information on how to solve certain issues in that area in terms of engineering, construction, architecture, you name it. You can make it fun. Uh, when I select these three countries or three locations, uh, maybe we can vote on it. The more votes we receive from that particular area, that is the country that, or that is the location that we're going to look into providing that information or, or developing a solution for that. So we're going to make a very short video to provide you just like ideas on how to solve the problem. If you're looking for really an in-depth way of solving the problem, you can definitely consult to us. I'll put the link in the description. You reach out to us and then we'll figure out a way, a viable solution, a sustainable solution to bring in that development. What are some of the problems? Sometimes you have an issue, you live in an area that floods every year and you're trying to figure out how do we solve this problem. You have an area that is 
uh, has a river and you know the other bank is not really accessible you have to sometimes swim to get across I've seen videos where kids have to swim across a river to get to school um, you know these are some of the things very simple solutions that we can provide because the materials for you know providing these solutions are in your area that we can use to solve these problems you see people uh, bring their canoe to the beach or people that are traveling across a river on a boat have to uh, dock by the beach or in the water and then uh, pull their pants up and then step in the water to get to the uh, to the to the bank I mean these are some of the things we can solve these problems together you know very simple solutions that we can look at to for, um, helping you so that you don't have to step in the water when you get to a bank so that you don't have to swim across the river to get to school so that you don't have to uh, your area does not have to flood every year I mean some some flooding is inevitable but I mean the flooding every year there's got to be something that you, we're not looking at so these are some of the things that we can uh, work together in the next series to provide you information provide you information we also uh, have a series that will come after that about solely fintech which is quantitative finance and um, and it also has to do with data science and AI so um, if you're new to this channel if you're new to this channel don't forget to subscribe hit the notification bell hit the like button and also share with your friends um, so that we can get this information out there I am your man's the micro chef. I hope this information is really helpful to you. If it is helpful to you, don't forget to leave a comment, or if you don't, don't forget to uh, to like. Don't forget to share with your friends and to uh, stay tuned to the next uh, few episodes. My dad is a microwave chef. My dad is a microwave chef. My dad is a microwave chef.